Hey guys, welcome to today's video. We are doing a what is new at the drugstore because once again, I have a pile of brand new products and recently, uh, this is like totally random, but I had a dentist appointment that was near a Walmart. I don't have a Walmart near me, but whenever I go out of my way and I see a Walmart, I always have to stop and see if Hard Candy has any new stuff, and lo and behold, they did. So I grabbed a bunch of stuff from Hard Candy. I also recently went to Target, and when I say recently, I mean I'm at Target every week. Who isn't? Uh, Sony Kashuk has some new stuff. Elf has some new stuff. So let's just dive right in, and my makeup today is... This is not my normal situation to like reach for as far as lip color goes, but I have so much makeup and I'm like, you know, it's makeup, it washes off, why not? Step out of your comfort zone every now and again, it can be fun and that way you can find new things that maybe suit you that you actually like like this combo because I actually look in the mirror and I'm like, oh my gosh, holy crap. I never thought that I would feel comfortable in a purplish color like this. So I'm actually wearing two of these from ColourPop. No, you cannot purchase these at the drugstore, but they are only $5 a piece, which is a lot less than most items that you will find for your lips at the drugstore. So that is why I am sprinkling them in here in this haul. These are new shades that were just sent to me. And the two that I'm wearing are these guys right here. I know I went for like the more basic two of the bunch, but for me, they were still a little bit you know, not nude, not, they're just not nude. Okay, so the one that I'm wearing on my lips first is called Molly, and then I did top off in the center of the lip with the shade Little, Little Stituous, Little Stituous, like Super Stituous, Super, what in the hell? This one, I just literally went ding, 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 like right like that a little bit more, and then kind of patted it in. I don't know if doing more right now is a really good idea, but I wanted to show you guys that you definitely can mix these and match these and ombre your lip and do different things with a lip product like this. This is the ColourPop Ultra Satin Lip, and this is much different in formula to the matte lips, which I find to be too drying. So if you've tried those from ColourPop and you want something that is a matte lip, like a liquid lip, but it is not so intense, this is your guy right here. The other shades that they came out with are this beautiful hot pink called Brooklyn, and then So Wavy, which if you can pull off a color like this, I am so jealous because I can't. So I was just like, what? my hair is just so beasty today, wow. Wandering the aisles of Target, looking for toilet paper, laundry detergent, etc. You know, you have to go down the beauty aisle, especially for me. I'm just addicted to makeup, so that's just where it's at. Um, this is a new launch from Sonia Kashuk. I am such a fan of this brand. It is exclusive to Target. They brought out this Knockout Beauty Shadow Box. I am so excited to get in here and play because I have a matte shadow palette from Sonia Kashuk that has been my number one palette recommendation for drugstore affordable eyeshadows that are absolutely amazing. I've done tutorials with it. I talked about it on and off all throughout last year and it got to a point where I'm like, okay, I can't you know, keep talking about the same palette over and over and over. That one is such a winner. Um, and this kind of reminds me of that palette, but it's like miniature sized and um, has some shimmers in here and obviously different shades. And I just think this is super cute. You have highlight lid crease liner. Of course, make your own rules with makeup, but I like that they laid it out like that for you and you then have four complete looks. But of course, mix and match, do your own thing. These shadows are just, they're beautiful. They glide on the lid. They don't kick off a ton of powder, but they're not super stiff, and I just love these, and I think this is such adorable packaging too. I also picked up some lashes from Sonia Kashuk. I haven't tried her lashes in years, but these just looked like they might work out, and they were super affordable. Whoops, that's upside down. So why not? I was picking up other things from the collection, and I just, just why not? This is actually what I was excited about. I saw this, I want to say in like Glamour magazine or in a magazine where they're like, this is coming out at Target next month. And I was like, ooh, shiny. It is the Knockout Beauty Golden Gloves Skin Glow. This mirror says you are beautiful. It's a nice sized mirror. I think that this is so cute. That's really soft. It kind of has 
the same feeling as like an ambient powder from Hourglass. It's not like super reflective shimmery. It's more of a soft glow. That's kind of nice, which it's called Skin Glow, so that makes sense. Um, obviously, I haven't tried any of these items with exception of what I'm wearing today on my lips, on my face yet, but I will keep you guys updated. I also picked up the Sonia Kashuk Knockout Beauty Liquid Lip. I am curious about this because I loved the matte lipsticks that she launched over holiday that came in that plaid red packaging. I did a video on them and I wore those so much. Beautiful formula, gorgeous color, um, and I think that this might be really good. So it has a flat kind of foamy tip applicator. You twist the product up. That's interesting. It says it's a liquid lipstick, but this is like a gloss. I'm not really sure how that works because it's super glossy. But you know, I will try this out and give you guys an update. And then they also have this Knockout Beauty Matte Lipstick. Now the unfortunate thing when you are shopping for this, you can't really tell what on earth, like what kind of a color it is. I mean, I have no idea. It could be neon orange for all I know. Um, it's called Power Punch. Maybe it's like a fuchsia or something. All right, we're ready for the big reveal. Oh, whoa! I was not expecting that, actually. That is red, clearly. For some reason, I thought it would be like a nude or pinky or whatever, but hey, knockout red. And then they also have a Knockout Beauty lip top coat, which is just a clear gloss in cute packaging. Doesn't smell like anything, has a very almost gel type texture. You can find these at Target as well. And I was actually thinking of doing an OMG Tuesday on these because they are so super affordable. This is the new e.l.f. bronzer palette. This is called Bronze Beauty. They also have an illuminating palette and they have a contour palette. Now what I was thinking, and let me know in the comments section if you want me to try these out, you know, OMG Tuesday will be a first impression where I put them on my face, kind of similar to WTF. It's just the affordable version of WTF. And check in with you guys throughout the day to see if the color lasted, if the bronzer got patchy, if the highlighter needed to be reapplied, and so on. So because these are super affordable and you get so much product, and I've loved the blush quads that they've had in the past, I thought, you know, maybe this would be a fun three palette thing to try out. I also picked up an e.l.f. contouring brush, which this excited me. I kind of was eyeballing all the brushes and I'm like, mm, mm, mm. and then this just kind of like, it was like a, a light shone out from this brush and it was like contour brush and it's like under five bucks, I think. I already know I'm gonna like this. This is super soft. I need to clean it first before I go like smearing it all over my face. Um, but this is nice and densely packed. This looks promising. Well done, Elf. All right, let's hop on over to Walmart and look at these Illuminate and Strobing Mix-In Drops. Of course, like I had to. I was just like, um, strobing drops? This could be cool. So these you can mix in with your foundation or you can just strobe on top of the skin. Ooh, do you know what this kind of looks like? <laughs> I don't have it right in front of me. I have the eye one in front of me. This is my Edward Bess thing, and this is the Hard Candy Strobing. It has that same kind of similar luminescence. This could be really good. Maybe not a dupe for the Edward Bess because that stuff will firm the crap out of your skin. I will link that video below. Um, it's a primer, but this has the same glow, like that nice pinky opalescent glow to it. And this is super, super affordable. So interesting. It's a little more watery, but it's really, really pretty on the skin. It's so funny because I'm not the biggest fan of liquid lipsticks, but why am I so drawn to them? Like I want to try every single brand out and find the best one out there possible because I love the idea of this kind of matte finish that it's long wearing. And some of them are great. You know, I am enjoying what I'm wearing right now. Jeffree Star's obviously are 
awesome. And thank you guys for continuing to think that the two of us collaborating would be really fun. Because even though we have totally different styles, I love him so much, love his makeup, love his channel, love his humor, um, and yeah, anyway. Love his liquid lipsticks, they are a favorite. Um, but who doesn't want to find an affordable option as well? So this is the Velvet Mousse Matte Lip Color from Hard Candy. It's so funny because this packaging is like super freaking bulky and then this is like so thin. It feels like you don't really get much. Ooh, pigmentation. This is the shade Tulip. I also picked up the shade Dahlia. I also picked up the shade Sweet Pea. Okay, moving on. I also picked up the Sheer Envy Primer Lift and Firm. Why do you guys think I picked this up? Because it actually says firm on the front. And you guys know I just want to be firm everywhere. So let's see. Whoa. Okay, so this doesn't really have a shimmer or anything like that to it. It actually has a very kind of wet feeling. Doesn't smell like anything. That is the weirdest texture. Oh my gosh. I am totally excited to try that. It's like gel, but like dimethicone silicone feeling but more moisturizing i can't really describe it it feels really really cool though Ooh, and it like sinks right in that could be good this looks really interesting and i thought again this could be like an interesting first impressions because it's kind of weird this is the hard candy brow ink this is a 24 hour brow stain henna fruit actives nourish hair while the long wear ink technology transforms brows that stay in place for 24 hours okay so never mind i thought it was like a tint that dyed your brow hairs but this just stays in place for 24 hours i wonder if that is true um okay and then if you screw up your makeup really intense um, it happens to us all. We all have those days where like your eyeliner is just not doing its thing no matter how hard you try, things don't wanna behave. And something like this I think could really be nice to have on hand. This is called the Stroke of Gorgeous Oopsie Proof Eyeliner Eraser. This will instantly touch up and correct mistakes. So maybe I need to try out on camera like doing really awful liner and then be like ding and like show you guys if it actually works and erases better than a cotton swab and a little bit of cleansing water, which is what I normally do. Most of the hard candy palettes did not call to me. They just, I was going down the thing and I was like, no, 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 no. And then this one, it just kind of spoke to me. Sometimes you can tell the texture is going to be awesome just looking through the plastic and I really hope I'm right. I might be wrong. Uh, that's a little bit powdery, but yeah, that's really powdery. Okay, my theory is really off because I don't know how I feel about that. Chunky, chunky. Um, maybe with a little bit of this plus, you could make this work. All right, I'm 50-50 on that one. We will have to see how it actually applies with brushes on the eye, with Fix Plus, how long it wears, and all of that good stuff. So swatching it on the back of my hand, I thought I would immediately be head over heels in love with the finish because they're so super metallic-y in that palette, but I'm a little bit on the fence. This is the Top 10 Trendsetters Eyeshadow Collection in Raining Men. Moving on to a little bit of Flower Cosmetics, they had one of the best lip butters that I loved so much and the only reason I stopped using it was because the lid would just pop right off and it messed up one too many purses of mine, um, just stuff would get stuck on the top part of it and it was a mess. But they seem to have um, improved the packaging because I believe this is one of the same colors that I had. This is the Ultimate Lip Butter Hydra Stick and I have the shade Naked Petal. These are so conditioning and beautiful on the lip and they add volume and they last a long time and I'm so excited that they improved the packaging. And then the last thing I picked up is a long wear lip cream because here we go again. I see every single brand coming out with long wear liquid lipsticks and I'm like, I must try it. 
but I did hold myself back a little bit and I was like, I'm only gonna grab one color. This is called Pink Bouquet and it comes with that same um, tip that the Sonia Kashuk one has where it's kind of a little bit of a foam tip and not a doe foot applicator. So curious to see how this works out. I feel like I will squeeze in a few of these in upcoming videos, hot or not and whatnot. Let me know what you would like to see most. If you wanna see the e.l.f. stuff, Sonia Kashuk, flower, hard candy. Let me know what you think though. I love your feedback. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Mwah.